That's kind of talk. I'm going to be doing a reaction for today's game against Colville. We obviously beat them 2 0. It was a lovely day, you know, really sunny. It was a little bit too hot, wasn't it? I think. Um, I know we were quite hot where we were sat. Um, the players were dripping. They were having drinks breaks every 20 minutes, you know, so a lovely day for it. And it was just sort of nice to be back, you know. It sort of felt like there wasn't really any COVID restrictions in place. It was sort of back to normal to a degree as far as fans were concerned. So, yeah, great to be back. And before I go on to the game, how nice is that away kit? I obviously went down and bought it this morning before the game. Um, it looked brilliant in action. So, uh, yeah, excited to see that a bit more this season. Um, so, yeah, the way we played, we sort of played that virtual way that we've seen sort of later on last season, the 3-5-2, um, the wing-back to hug in the sideline. And it worked, you know. Um, in the second half, you obviously have McCrory playing left centre-back and Brindley playing right centre-back. So, you have that sort of athleticism um, left centre back and right centre back, which I think opens up really well for Knots and it's work, works for us. So, yeah, it, it's interesting and it's good to see us sort of sticking to us a form of playing. Um, so yeah, I will talk about the try list. Obviously, the, the big one is Bennett. Uh, got a great goal. Thought he looked really good, creating plenty. Um, I feel like he impressed. I feel like if he's not got a contract, there's something wrong. Um, so yeah, um, and it's worth saying as well. I know Will was saying he was on the channel a few times. A few of his friends are Portsmouth fans and they rated Bennett really highly from his time there. So it's always good to hear from a club, especially who's higher up the pyramid than us. And another try list as well was Cabo Sherry. I thought he was really impressive. Very strong on and off the ball. Um, just seemed to have a really good football in brain, if you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, very, very impressed by him. Um, and a new, the new signings then, a couple of the new signings really impressed me today. So Kyle Cameron, he obviously played that first half. Whenever a ball's in the air near him, you just feel like he's going to win it. He's so demanding in the air. He obviously captained the first half. Obviously, probably not going to look into that too much. Could be the captain next season. Who knows? Um, so, yeah, really impressed by uh, Kyle Cameron. Really sort of came in and showed his stead straight away, albeit against a, a lower league side we know uh, in a preseason friendly. Um, what else should I talk about then? Um, Joel Taylor, uh, another one of our signings. When he came on, obviously, in that second half, I thought he was really, really impressive. I mean, we were sort of gutted, weren't we, to, to, to lose out to um, Miller, you know, to Chesterfield. And then it was, seemed a bit of strange business, but obviously you can't read into it too much, I know. But to show your level sort of straight away then come in and only play 45 minutes, fair play to him. I thought he played really well. A lot of the football seemed to be going down that left-hand side as well in the second half, so... That was interesting, very interesting, and it was good to see McCrory as well. I thought he gave a, you know, a good account of himself today. Um, he's a good option to have, and I feel like he's not going to be a starter if we do end up keeping him on. And I know he is there to just sort, sort of keep his fitness up and uh, stay match sharp really until a, a club maybe scoops in for him. But I don't think Birchall could completely, you know, swipe out having him just just as a backup player, like a bit of a squad player rotation. You know, he's, he's a really good option because he can sort of play out wide and he can play that left centre back role which I do feel like we need cover for a little bit at the minute so yeah um, a few of the options we had in centre mid as well uh, the centre of midfield a few of the try lists you know they weren't overly impressive I didn't think um, so it'd be interesting to see how that one pans out if we've got any signings for central midfield in the pipeline because I do feel like we need that um, to, to be pushing on because you have to look at Stockport, don't you? The signings they're making, I mean, the most recent signing, I think, was Scott Quigley. I think he scored 20 in Barra's promotion season and 15 last season in League 2. So he's going to be either with or behind Madden. Um, so, you know, we really have to be competing with teams like that. Um, on the whole, you know, I feel like it was quite a positive occasion. Um, a lot to take from it. It was just an interesting game because, you know, when you take that competitive edge out of it, I feel like you can focus on the football a little bit more, especially from, from my perspective, because when your emotions are involved, it's, it, can, it can skew your vision a little bit, can't it? So it was interesting to see how like, certain players were playing, sort of not under the, the, the pressure of the game, um, seeing how they feared, some of the youth players coming through, you know, all fans of all clubs love to see youth players coming through. Um, Taylor Brooks as well. I can't go on without um, not mentioning him. He's he's played really well that first half. Made a couple of good saves. You know, Colville did sort of have a few chances, but like I say, I think you do sort of expect that in a preseason friendly because the football is not flowing, is it? You sort of piecing the game together. You know, your players are gelling. So, yeah, all in all, I think it was quite a positive occasion. I think the players and the manager and Doyle as well. 
will take a lot away from that game and learn a lot. And hopefully, you know, maybe by the end of next week, we'll have seen hopefully three or four more signings. Because outside of that, I don't really think we need much more strength in depth. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, before I finish, I'd like to plug two things. Obviously, we've got the shirt giveaway, which is our last video. Um, go on there, enter the competition, follow the instructions on the video to enter for your chance to win a shirt. If it gets to 250 likes, we will give away a second shirt. And also, if you haven't already, get, uh, please either donate or share on our GoFundMe page. Because me and Tom are running the half uh, Robin Hood half marathon. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.